you said about dues there, uh, what was your number for the hazard association dues? The hazmat, hazmat. You're, you're asking for 200, well, they're asking for $250 this year. And that's, that's a $200 increase. No, it's not. No, it's not. This that's is the number is right out of your budget. Well, I have the book right in front of me, and last year's was 175 It says 50 That was the, that, you're looking at the, uh, the budget. Uh, 19 um, adopted budget, the actual amount was 175. Then why wasn't that put on? It must have changed in the middle of the year. The, the budget worksheet that was provided on your website that's available to the public. Let me show you the budget and for 19 and 20. It doesn't show the actual So, see, that, and that, that's a problem that I have. When you have a 2019 adopted budget, is that what you, you asked for, or is that the actual numbers that, that you spent? That is the amount that was placed in the budget at the beginning of the year. So, the, so this, these numbers that are in this budget worksheet, is it it's safe to say they're completely different than what the actual, actual expenses are. Yeah. So how can the public provide fair comments and dissect this as I have if, if we don't have the true number. You will, that tells me you that will, you will sometime in February or March when the year comes. But you, have, it's but you published it but for days. Days. We're sitting in December. How can we tell you what we're going to spend? We just approved how much money today. You, you should, should be able to. there. Do you, do you have a checkbook? Yeah, I know what you're going to say. Yes. No, you know, you know exactly what I'm going to say. Does. You my should be does. able to. Well, what, everybody out there, everybody in here has their own their own checkbook. Yeah. You have a running balance that you look at every day and says, this is how much I have in the piggy bank. Can I go ahead and write a check based yeah. on what I have? To me, you're not but doing that. Because oh, yeah, if, yeah. if you're not providing yeah. the, the actual numbers to the public, I've dealt with billion dollar budgets in the airports. I've slashed millions of dollars monthly in the airports. I've had the Air Force adopt my budgets and, and they're still using them today. When the numbers aren't accurate, as I found in here, it appears that they're covered up. That's corruption. I'm just gonna say, to me, that is corruption. You are hiding numbers from the public. So how can we provide our comments back to the commissioners who are most likely going to go ahead and push through this budget and vote on it in a few weeks? You're asking the public to, to compensate the county for this $1.2 million deficit because of what, what's going on down in prison. We're not responsible for your inability to manage the budget. If you're unwilling to go ahead and make cuts to this budget, I'm sorry, the first one I would see is take a pay freeze. Everybody takes a pay freeze. The military has done it, the federal government has done it, why can't the county do it? If you do a pay freeze for FY20, you're going to save at least half a million dollars. I'm sorry, suck it up for half a year rather than go ahead and punish the taxpayers that are out there to go ahead and pay your salaries and benefits. It's not fair to the taxpayers. When I when I can go through here, and this is just a, a surface that I've scratched on this budget, but now that I've found out these, these numbers aren't even the right numbers, my God, what what is the difference that I have to go through here and, and find? And I understand, yeah, we're, we're coming to the end of FY19. Can we really go ahead and provide those numbers? You should be able to have those like that. You should be able to pull up the spreadsheet and say, here's our, our current balance. Do you guys do an end of year spending? Do you have a cutoff of funding? The military, we did that. In September, we had what was called end of year funding. You could not spend any more in September. They took all the money out of all the pots of money put it together and they went through each department and said, okay, what do you absolutely need? And you better be able to justify it, not what would you like to have? Because that's what yeah, it sounds yeah, like yeah, 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 is yeah, yeah, occurring yeah, here yeah, is that you went through yeah, every yeah. department and said, what do you guys want? What do you guys want? We, we that's no good invitation. We have those conversations. But when you yeah. say, what do you we want? Have those conversations. That's like giving a, a, a kid free reign to the candy store. We don't. We don't do that. Well, that's what it looks we, like to yeah. me, Peter. I'm, I'm sorry, but we just don't. I don't know how to convince you because I won't. But I won't convince you. There's nothing I'm going to tell you to convince you. You don't know unless you try. Uh, it's just not true, Kevin. We, we do have. So you've given up. You've given up no, on the public. You've have, given up on me. Kevin, 
I'm, I'm here all, willing to work with you, you and try to find out how you, you can turn me off. You turn me off. You, you turn me off about five cents ago when you accused us of corruption on no basis. Then it? show the real numbers. Provide the real numbers to the public. Don't set up here and say this is the numbers we're going to give you. And oh, well, in reality, these numbers are different. Meanwhile, we're in this 20-day window that the public right. has an opportunity to look at this budget. This is what we've been presented, Pete. Right. This is the numbers we have to go by. And if Jan sets up here and says, well, that's not really the true numbers, what are they? Why aren't they provided to the public? The budget number is the budget number. It's a budgeted amount. Every budget. That's your target. That's your target we're trying to achieve. But what I'm saying is that if you're telling me Hazmat spent $175 last year, put it in the budget. One hundred seventy-five. It's showing me there's a two hundred dollar yeah, right. increase. There, there's, not one answer, there's, one, there's one logical answer to your question, and that is if we would embrace a policy where every time we spend an amount of money that exceeds or even is lower than the budget amount, that we do a budget adjustment every time so that it, so that the end of the year they match. Uh, I don't know of a budget that comes in. Unless you do adjustments, you're a really good planner, but we want to be the best planners we can be. That at the end of the year, the budget number and the actual expenditures match. Unless, unless you do adjustments. So when, in this case, I guess it was Kevin, you had that out there. And Kevin said, once we were here and asked for approval to spend that money, we probably, and, and I would ask Jan how this would work in your office between your staff. You say, oh, whoa, 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 Kevin, we, you only asked for fifty dollars, but you want to spend one hundred seventy-five. That we would say, Kevin, uh, Kevin Train is our director of emergency management, by the way, for those of you who don't know. And we would say, move some money from another line item because you don't have that in your budget. How many times have we done that with our? We have done that with our department. No, no, you cannot have that. You don't have, and we have done it. But what we haven't done is we haven't done it for every line item. We just haven't done that it could quite for every line item. The other line items it's probably they small. Yeah. Yeah. They might come yeah, in less. And, and I get that. We, we did so, that all the time in the airports. We shuffled, yeah, right. we so shuffled that, money back and forth. Yeah, exactly. That was, that was under one umbrella. Let me, let me run this by you. At the end of the year, we have always had people come in with capital requests or IT requests. So they'll say they need a new computer. I'll use that for an example. example. The budget said, the budget said so much money was allowed for that. And they say, well, I'll put it next year's budget. And we'll say, look, you look like you're going to close less. You're not going to spend all your money in that line item. Why don't you go ahead and buy those computers now, and then you don't have to reprogram them in next year's budget. Have we not done that with your <coughs> PD departments? And that, it might that's be an, from a different line item where they're not. Well, doing. that's true. It might not be. now. A lot of times we do adjust, Kevin. We do move the money from one item to another to cover that cost. Right. We miss that one. And there's more that we probably missed. And some of those you won't, you won't see it clearly until, and that's a good exercise too. You look at the end of the year and see how did you really close compared to how you budgeted. I mean, that's a good, now that exercise isn't, you're not able to do that until probably what, mid-February. We are not on a so cash we, basis. We yeah. are on a modified accrual basis, which means we will continue to pay bills back on the 19 budget till about February. Is that about right, Michelle? So we build things back that actually, you know, that the service or whatever was right. in December. We might be paying for that. We in did February. the same thing in the military. Right. The yeah. same thing, but like I said, come the first of September, we entered end of year spending. That is something I think needs to happen locally here is that we come whatever your fiscal year is, yeah. a month out before the end of the year, right. all spending stops. You right. pull all of your money together and you go through to these different departments and say, I, what do I, you absolutely need? Because when you say, what do you want? Like I said, in the military, we have people do that. No, like, what do I no, want? No, I got no, no, Kevin, I said what, what they want. It's, it's usually focused on what they need. And well justified. Well yeah. Well, earlier, earlier. Do you, you have any it. more specific questions? I, I realize you don't agree with the way we're managing the county's budget. I, I'm just going to say that. You don't agree. Well, we're here and we're going to do our best. And I know my heart of hearts and these gentlemen sitting to my left and right and Jan, our chief clerk, have done our best to manage this budget. And we feel we've done our best to, you know, to try to 
put together a budget. Now, can we do better? That's why we like these conversations, because I jotted some of your ideas down here. I won't have time to implement them before I'm out of office. You're sitting here listening, maybe some of these things should be deployed in the next year's budget. So I don't mind that. That's what good public discourse is about. So I uh, 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 you know, have a specific question, give it to us. If not, we're going to adjourn this meeting shortly. So what else? Well, like, like I said, that, that's, I'm, I'm not here to rock the boat. I'm trying to make sure that at the end of the day, the taxpayers aren't penalized when they when they really don't have to be. Now, yeah, you three have set up there, you make the decision, reach out to the, the, the experts that are out here in the public that, that have analyzed the information that's provided provide the public more information. Utilize the resources that you have within this county. You know, you, you, know, you, you know I'm very adamant about how the county is run. And when you say you're doing your best, yes, I can appreciate that. But at the end of the day, your best is going to cost the county taxpayer more money while you're spending more within the county. That's really not your best. And I think sitting there wholeheartedly, I think you have to agree on that, is that are we truly, yeah, you need to ask yourself, are you truly doing your best yeah. when it comes to being fiscally no. responsible I as a county? Wait, wait, because wait. looking at the yeah. numbers that were provided, okay. I can tell you right now, you are not. Okay. And my colleagues that, that deal with financial, my colleagues that I dealt with in the in military, they would look at this budget and be like, my okay. God, there is just fraud, waste, and abuse of spending. I'm going to ask you, okay, thank you. I, I might yeah, disagree. I'm going to respond with one thing, and, and right, it's nice if you have that. some expert in here instead of someone that, that just wants to throw all this negativity. Are you serious? If you're looking at the hazmat you budget alone, if you're looking at the hazmat budget alone, let's talk about the positive side. I'm looking side. I'm looking at four budget line items that total $8,000 that was not spent. Do you have that information? $8,000 was what, not spent. What, what account code is that? Under the hazmat budget? Come on up after the meeting, I'll just show you. No, 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 we're on the record right now. You, you brought it up, if you let's look talk at about it. Under 4361, I knew that from the beginning. Under 4401. So 4361 public relations, yep. $1,000. And they didn't spend it. No, but you're asking for another $1,000 in 2020. If you didn't spend it in 2019, why are you asking for another $1,000 in 2020? Why can't we see this information? What, what was your next Apparently step? he has it. No, I'm looking doesn't. at the budget he worksheet that was provided in this budget the next, on your the website. The next one was 4401, one of the things you brought up, conventions and meetings. Apparently they thought they were going to go to a convention and they didn't. They put, they put it in this year in case they're going to go. $2,000 in 2019, $2,000 in 2020. Yep. What can, what can, I can tell you right now, having dealt with these conventions, they're boondoggles. No, I don't agree with that. Well, you obviously never been to one. That's why the military cut them. Repair equipment, $1,000. What? $50,000, $32,000. A thousand and a thousand. Mm -hmm. They didn't spend it. All I'm saying is there's money in this well, budget that is not being spent. Then Lynn lose a carryover, and, so and the public knows. We don't know. Well, they know that. This they tells they this tells me, it. Jeff, that in 2019 you asked for a thousand dollars, you spent a thousand dollars. In 2020 you're asking for a thousand, you're going to spend another thousand. No. If you didn't spend it in 2019, have it as zero because the way this reads, you say 2019 adopted budget. That's telling me that that is what you spent. But come to find out, that's not true. That's just what you forecast. That's right. I can, I can go through this. I can, I can find, because I am an expert at this, Jeff. I've dealt with this for 20 years in the military. I've got recognition from the Pentagon, from the White House on my budgets, to go ahead and say that I'm not an expert. I'm just somebody trying to rock the boat. What experts do you have? A $50,000 financial consultant that you hire every year? Yeah, then we're going to turn this meeting. Of course you will, because you don't want to hear from the public. You're getting personal, and that's inappropriate. Commissioner Snyder made it personal. I got it out. So I expect an apology before I leave today. So, yeah. Okay, that's fine. It's on the record, but I don't want to social media within within the hour. I don't want to protect somebody. That's what we can expect from our elected leaders right there. 
The little the public. No, the thing is, is no, we're done. Both of you, both of you, not both of you, not both of you. I quit. Not both of you. Not. Both of you. Not. Both of you. Not. Okay, thank you, Greg.